Welcome back to Underwater Math. Today we are going to learn how to identify rules based on input-output tables. I'm not sure if you noticed our tiny plant, but it has been growing by the hour. We have been tracking its growth on this input-output table by putting the hours passed as the input and the height of the plant as the output. After one hour, the plant was 18 inches tall. After two hours, it was 19 inches tall. In the third hour, it was 20 inches tall and 21 inches tall after the fourth hour. Help me identify the rule to determine the output for our plant. Is the rule to multiply by 17, add 17, subtract 17, or divide by 17? Let's try the first one by applying the rule to the input to see if it makes the output. Is 1 times 17 equal to 18? No, so that can't be the rule. Let's try the next one. Is 1 plus 17 equal to 18? Yes. Let's double check with the next input. Is 2 plus 17 equal to 19? Yes. 3 plus 17 is equal to 20 and 4 plus 17 is equal to 21. We have identified the rule. Let's try another one. Look at the relationship between the input values and output values. Are we dividing by 8? 1 divided by 8 does not equal 8, so that can't be the rule. What about adding 8? 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, so that can't be the rule either. 1 minus 8 does not equal 9, so that 1 doesn't work. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Let's see if that works for other input values. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. So far so good. 3 times 8 is equal to 24, and 4 times 8 is equal to 32. We've identified the rule again. Great job. One more example for you today. We need to figure out the rule between the input and output to get our pile of free donuts. Imagine you can put numbers from this table through an input-output machine. You can put an input number through the machine, a rule applies, and it comes out the output with a new value. What rule is happening in this machine for these inputs? We can ask ourselves, how are we getting from 1 to 266? We can either add 265 or multiply by 266. If we multiply the second input by 266, we do not get an output of 267. This can't be the rule. If we add 265 to 1, we get 266. Let's check the remaining inputs. 2 plus 265 is equal to 267. 3 plus 265 is equal to 268. And 4 plus 265 is equal to 269. Great job! You are ready to practice on your own. Have fun!